Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro. I'll be showing you how to take emblems that are messed up and faded like this and turn them into he something like this. must be the like man this. or something. Brand new, came perfect, out so ready good. to go. Check it out. The Headlight Restoration Pro. The future of Headlight Restoration. All right, let's get down to business. This is a 2018 Acura MDX. Uh, quite new car. Uh, did the headlights as well. I uh, did one of them before this and one after this. Uh, so check the next video will be the um, rest of the video actually showing the headlights. Um, but for now, uh, this is uh, one of the new modern trends where they're actually making a... Um, an emblem encased in pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to wait to the end. The same exact uh, material that the headlights are made out of. A polycarbonate. Okay. So what happens is they go bad just like the headlights. This particular vehicle um, experienced premature um, degradation of the headlights and emblems on this vehicle expressly in the front uh, pretty much because this person um, the car was immaculate when I pulled up and I knew right then like okay this is what's going on um, this person um, vehicle so clean I knew that um, there was some kind of issue with automatic car washes he actually works right across the street his office building was right across the street from an automatic uh, car wash one of the popular ones where I'm from and um, the thing about those automatic car washes they they do have scratchless uh, pads, but as you said, you can watch this video here. It'll explain to you a little bit more about that. Um, they uh, will destroy your headlights prematurely. You, you know, you're taking, let's say, if uh, uh, this emblem would have lasted normally if, you, if, it, if it was washed in a different manner. Normally five years, you're talking about um, it's going to degrade it to this level and these headlights to a, a really bad level, probably, um, you know, uh, what, in, you know, two years. Okay, way, you know, 60% of the life is going to be knocked off off top. Um, it's the price you pay for, you know, quick, easy car washes. Um, you know, it sucks, but it is what, what it is. It does it to paint, too. It just takes a little bit longer because uh, the clear coat enamel is uh, a lot harder than anything that's advised to be put on a headlight for much reasons, or many reasons, shall I say. Uh, but as you see, I'm working the steps, working the same steps as you would a headlight. And as you see, the white powder and the, um, you know, the little dust uh, picking up it looks the same. And I'm using the same process. Uh, through the headlight uh, restoration as for emblem restoration. Uh, this is a new trend that can be found in many vehicles such as these. Uh, Lexus, uh, Toyotas, Fords, uh, Scions, um, all kind of vehicles. Um, uh, you know, Subarus, um, Hondas, and, um, you know, Acuras, and a couple more to be exact, but uh, these vehicles um, tend to have these, and a lot more tend to have these. I do a couple of these a year. Um, you know, every other month I do one or two. Um, it's becoming more common. It's typically in the newer vehicles. Uh, usually any vehicle like 2010 or up, expressly closer to uh, the current time, uh, have these. And it's a new trend. And, you know, some can speculate. Like, you know, a lot of people think, uh, oh, this car manufacturer doing this to net more money um, some of you would probably be right um, it is aesthetic um, but if they were thinking about people's pockets and longevity they probably wouldn't put these on vehicles they probably just keep the old uh, method of making these um, <laughs> emblems or whatnot uh, just because uh, just like polycarbonate it goes bad it's a ticking time bomb there's nothing you can do about it unless you're gonna go and uh, force all the car makers to stop doing it and uh, if you're not Superman you probably don't have the power to do that so you just got to deal with it um, why I say probably is because check out how much this emblem goes for on sale Wow if you were to get it to the Acura uh, dealership it'd be about seven hundred dollars about as expensive as a headlight uh, through this site here which is a non Acura dealership but it is selling OEM parts 
look how expensive that is just for that one emblem. See if it cracked or blew up or whatever. So it is a marketable thing to add in your repertoire. Why? You know, I don't give business tips on here. I just do headlights, okay? Business tips would be a whole other thing. Uh, people are always asking me about that. Um, you know, um, I just don't do that because I want to stay focused on the actual art or the, um, you know, work of headlight restoration. You guys put the rest together. But I'm going to give you a you know, little business tip. Um, you know, why not do what you are doing when it's applicable? This is applicable. It's the same exact thing as a headlight restoration. That is the secret of this video. Same exact thing. Um, uh, just the difference is anything in this shape is going to be a lot harder to tape off. Okay? A lot harder to take off tape off. Uh, you can actually take these off, but I would advise against it because the pieces around it are very brittle. Um, unless you're a mechanic or something or you have mechanical background, I wouldn't take these off and do it for uh, two reasons. The same reason you don't take headlights off and do it because you can mess things up, break brackets, and then you're going to have to buy the whole thing. Uh, this way is much easier and safer. Um, also, if you took this off, how are you going to hold it? Yeah, they don't make vice grips that open that big. They they do, but they're extremely expensive. And another thing with vice grips, you can crack something so sensitive. So they're very delicate uh, parts, just like headlights. Um, uh, you know, and then you know nothing's gonna hold this more still than a 2,500, 3,000 pound vehicle. So, um, uh, just keep them in. Don't try to get fancy and take this off. Some guys I know take, like, bumpers off to do headlight restoration and all this shit. And it's like, you just, you just playing with yourself, jerking off. There's no need to do all that. You know, I could tape this off way faster and safer than you can do all that stuff. Um, but behind here, there's about three brackets that have, like, uh, screw dry, screws in each one that, uh, that adhere it to the, um, uh, you know, grill or whatnot. But uh, you want to make sure you get all around there because it's uh, it's a gap just like between the headlights. You know, you want to make sure you blow all that out, get all the moisture, all the dust out or whatever before you hit it with this final spray. And I'm going to show you a trick here um, uh, with spraying. When I spray this, I'm going to show you a little something that happened. Somewhat a mega pro tip. Um, I've never shown anybody this uh, in Pat's videos. But I figured it was important since it came up this time and I remembered to uh, kind of emphasize on it. Um, but, you know, just stay tuned and watch. I'll, I'll cue you in. It's coming up here a second in a minute or so. But see, I'm spraying here uh, in a circle, whatever. You probably shouldn't do that. That was a uh, sloppy etiquette. It's better just uh, left and right or something like this. Uh, you don't want to go in such a narrow circle. Or you might have issues like that right there. Let me adjust this here. Um... You know, it looks good right here, but here in this area, you're going to see, I'm trying to adjust it so you can see um, and do some other stuff really fast here, turning on these fans and um, turning them around away from the light. And I'm going to show you why here. But basically, um, I have a real small run kind of developing it's not a run it's a ripple you got to know the difference between a run and a ripple um uh, they both happen kind of uh run happens um you know when you're just being too reckless and doing too much you get addicted of the clearness that's happening and you're just spraying way too much or you're going too slow or something like this happens but a uh, ripple is not a run a ripple can be fixed by the product because the product is self-leveling okay uh, but what you don't want to do is apply air or any kind of sun or any kind of light or heat or anything when it is rippled you want the uh, product you see it right there you want the product to take um, hold of its self-leveling ability, okay? And if it doesn't work, you have nothing to do. But as you see, it's just like a line. It's not actually lumped over on itself. That's the difference. Like, you know how cow, right there, you see that? How wax uh, drips. You see the fans? I turn them away, okay, just to suck the smell off. I'm not uh, air. I'm, I'm letting this naturally dry. I'm not force air drying or anything or accelerating at all because I want 
the natural ability of self-leveling to level out, which it does. Okay, like I said, you have to learn the difference because you could be panicking right now, like, oh man, you touch it, this and that, but it was going to fix itself anyways. It only doesn't fix itself when it um, lumps over itself, kind of like, um, you know, candle wax uh, dripping on itself or whatever. This is just like a hump. Okay, because it's already self-leveling itself. But anyways, um, I kind of jumped the gun and went on to the next light before I can uh, get more filming done. And I forgot to film it, but I did take pictures. So because um, I had another light, you know, coming up, you'll see that in the next video. But anyways, this is before. This is close up before. All right. This is. Um, let me see that. See how messed up and scratched up and, you know, fogged over. And this is after from a distance. Uh, this is about a foot away, you know, or whatnot. And we're going to go even closer. Uh, it's about two feet away. We're going to go up to about six inches away. And as you see at that spot right there, it is gone. Uh, this is about 15 minutes later. It self leveled itself. And that's what you need to know. The Headlight Restoration Pro. The future of Headlight Restoration.